you get to be Ravarush. Welcome to uh, 74 for Muna class. We are here today in New Shalim, Rio Kodesh. Special, special class with Dr. Benji Epstein. Very happy to have him in the house. And we're very happy to begin together on this hot day. Thank God with Benini Official. Yes. Right. We're going to get more into our wonderful guests in a moment. I'm just making sure everything's working on, on our side. A little bit of... Uh, Meneers, as they say, thank God. And uh, we're very happy that you guys made it to another week after Shavuot. And we had a wonderful live class with previous guests, the Sheffer Band, and their song, thank God, went out to the world and brought down a lot of divine Sheffer. Everyone felt that, yeah? Yeah, I felt it. It was good energy. So, Baruch Hashem. We're going to be putting out the Ari Lesser song soon, Be Here Now going through some editing and that brought it brings us to the focus of today's class living in the presence that the day we put out the be here now song and we have some drinks getting to our guests thank god to our wonderful studio team we're living in the present that's that was the picture that came into my twitter account which i don't usually get so much messages on <laughs> for brez of english and here it was a picture of living in the present and that's what brought about by divine providence that we should make a class. We want to thank Gedalia Fenster as well for putting the name of Dr. Benjamin Epstein into my mind so that I knew about his wonderful teachings. They were school friends, is that correct? Correct. Amazing. So five. we're going to just go now quickly through the intro and the feedback and we'll get to a song and then we'll hear more from our wonderful guests. We do have some surprise children in the studio, which we're very excited and I'm sure they're very unique and special coming all the way from Utniel. Is that right? Utniel, yeah. Yeah, amazing. We yeah. have to get, get, give a shout out to Utniel. Lachaim. 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 Amen. Amen. Okay, here we go. So, we're dedicating this class, the 74th Amuna class. I'm happy to be able to say that. Unfortunately, Rav Shalom Morish is not here. That part I'm not happy about. But he's definitely giving us a blessing to make this class and make it real. So thank you again for being here. Please keep praying for Rav Shalom Ben Yemna. But we're also dedicating this class to the success of Dr. Ben Epstein and family, PhD. Is that correct? Yes, I'll take it. Make sure we give the full label. Yeah. and um, Not CB, but still. Okay, we're getting Rab there. Rabbi Doctor. Rabbi Doctor. Rabbi Doctor also. Or Benji. Asking for living in the present. And we got it. That's what we've been talking about. And we got it. We also, Benini Official, thank you for coming special, joining us. Just Benini is fine. And he's also <laughs> AK um, Shmuel maybe. Stenger. And I had the merit to learn with his brother Chavrusa a long time ago. Remember that? That's a big schus. Mordechai. Yes. Is that, he goes Moti or Mordechai? Yeah, both. Either one. Both. And you're yeah. Shmuel or Sam. So we got Benini Official in the house. It was meant to be a special visit during Shabbos Chazan uh, during that week uh, a year ago. And it was just too hot and too difficult so it didn't happen for some reason but we did advertise it but it, it laid the groundwork and it, exactly it, it began open up the uh, the heart level and he reached out and i was so happy to be able to finally make that up together that we could be together in person in the studio we made it fine as our special musical guest Shmuel Steng and family we bless him as well we welcome all our Amen. guests to the holy land online territory as well with so many inspired followers blessings to all of our guests that come here in, and all the Amuna staff and specifically all of us should be saved from all these struggles that are going on in 2022 they're still talking about corona would you believe it and all these kind of things everyone should have full or full shlema and full protection and be successful in everything they're doing amen amen we we'll dedicate also to the full healing again to shalom ben yamna to heal rifka bas masha Hannah bas frida and these classes also to the elevation to the spirit special soul of gedalia son you met gedalia son i had the merit to meet with him and be in the home with him a few times on our visits his name was and is Yerachim Daniel Ben Gedalia. Unfortunately, he's in the Olam MS, and we dedicate our cl our class to him. Have the Ben Chaim Chaim. Appreciate your dedication to our Muna classes, to the Rav's teachings. Good week, happy mid Chodesh Seven. Like time's just flying. I don't know if you feel that. Heavenly and healthy, energized summer days with Amuna, and we're sharing Amuna Global. All that is the tagline. Amuna Global. Get it out there, guys. Now we're going to get some feedback. And then we're going to get to a song. We're going to thank Rev Elgrod and team for the advice on peace in the world. That was a advice, uh, sorry, feedback that people gave. Help deal with the current challenge and prepare 
for the summer in the best way. Yeah, he gave us a beautiful class for Shavuot. Hazaku Baruch, the vid with Rav Oresh and Uri Zohar. Baruch Dain Emes, Rav Uri Zohar Zatzal. May your memory and legacy be blessed. I don't know if any of what he here had Kesha with Rav Uri Zohar. Not personally. Person, yeah. No. I definitely listened to many classes of his and and I know that Rav Oresh had a very strong connection with him. And uh, yeah, worth checking out some of Uri Zohar's classes and content. Gedalia and wife, new vids. That was a little clip. Someone wrote, nice couple, very respectful, sweet to one another. Thank you for sharing. Can we put it up on our class? We hope to see more from them together. By the way, about the Zodiac match, match, this is what someone wrote, there's much more than the sun sign. It's called Synesty. I don't know. And it's comparison between both full charts of all planets. So you're going to have to know more about that. Go ask Gedalia. It's not my story. <laughs> Shalom Rabbeinu. Sadara Bar for your videos. Yes, that's Ravorish's wonderful videos. We haven't put as many up recently. I apologize. We've been doing a lot of reposting and hopefully we'll get back to that soon. A lot of simchas, a lot of busy stuff going on in our team downstairs. We'll get more classes from Ravorish up soon and we hope to have him in person again. He is speaking more in the other languages and if you guys noticed, you can check it out on the Hebrew channels and Spanish channels. See Ravorish there, I think maybe even in French. The studio will have to let me know how, how many other languages. But for some reason, English, we have to keep brain it or Join us here. I have a toda. I met rules. Baruch Hashem. Gratitude for all. That's about Rav Yonatan Balayish class. Thank God he's one of the team we're still putting up fresh classes from. Thank you so much for these weekly videos. Hug some early goldsmiths. That was my class. Thank God. Absorbing the cheesecake vibes. Yeah, I can see. I've been absorbing it <laughs> and uh, showing on my shirt. Usually, you know, it don't feel so tight. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so I didn't mean it that way. Thanks for pointing it out. Uh, one of our wonderful listeners, and I'm not embarrassed to quote it, because uh, it's a holds me accountable. Yes, we have right. to be healthy. You know, I never forget Tony Robbins saying once in one of his big speeches how you know he can just take a look at someone and tell if they're doing a healthy lifestyle and doing the work. It doesn't have to be you don't have to be such a goin in Torah to figure out whether you're eating too much cheesecake or whatever. <laughs> Thank you for being there with Amuna. And unity, that's what someone wrote about my class, which was really the point of it. And also the absorbing the cheesecake concept was internalization. It was about internalizing the Torah. I was just making it like more visual. I mean. <laughs> the Torah is compared to, to cheesecake. To American cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's definitely sweet and it's definitely tasty. Yeah. And it's it, it yeah, really the is Harevna, the most mm. pleasurable thing that really we should internalize. You are the best. Very nice. So happy Rev. Ralph Cohen's cast got posted as a podcast. Beautiful music. Wonderful insights from Dain Algod. The Shefa class, Baruch Hashem. Beautiful. The special, the Shem Yichud vid. What about unification with Rev. Oresh featuring Simcha? Is Toda Shalom Ahava. Josh Crow wrote, Thank you, Rab, for this teaching. May Hashem bless your life. Thank you, Hashem, for everything you give us. You've given us another class. And let's go with a song. With Bainani, official, first time in the house All right. in a while. Woo! Thank God. Thank you very much for having me. It's great to be here. Just had a kind of a long drive in from uh, from Har Chevron, but uh, all right, music. This is a song that's called "Home with You," and it's a song that's dedicated to uh, to my Rebbitzin. I'm sure she's listening. Clear as day, there was no hiding Reminded me of when we reunited We had to wait so long, they call it timing Now we ride the wave, I always try to keep you smiling There was no pressure that we hadn't been through We keep on hoping that it won't continue There is no falling back, his I will seize you And if I never breathe again, you know I'll never leave you Cause you need someone to lean on, to lean on I'll be that man that you lean on, you lean on, you lean on Paid way above my grade, it's obvious I prayed Why else would you relay? I'm still in love and I will make my home with you my home with you, forever home with you. I'm still in love and I'll make my home with you. And every step we take, they never notice. We ride above the wave and go below it. 
my whole world was dark I never owned it until you came along to show me how I could transform it That shook me up, you know I never learned to settle down I look into my mind, my psyche give me run around But there's a strength that you possess, nothing will take you out So even when I feel depressed, I know I need to walk out Cause you need someone to lean on, to lean on I'll be that man that you lean on, you lean on, you lean on Paid way above my grade, it's obvious I prayed Why else would you relate? I'm still in love and I will make, oh, oh And every Shabbos day, we drink a cup of faith, we get a dose of faith you're my queen every day I'm still in love and I will make My home with you My home with you Forever home with you I'm still in love and I will make My home with you oh, With you Yeah Good stuff with Shmuel Stange, a.k.a. Benini Official in the house. Thank you. Otnio. Thank you for having me. We made it. We were going to do a cappella that during those two weeks when we got it better. We got yeah, the it's better with the guitar. Guitar action. So, sitting next to me on the right, we jump straight to our wonderful guest. I just handed him a paper. Yes. Unknowingly, living in the present. I'm catching you on the flow. Okay? So, we usually have Rev, Sh Rev Shalom Morris or Rev Dianel got to ask are difficult questions that, thank God, and appreciated questions that people send in. I'm going to read out the question, and you can tell me if you feel comfortable answering it. No. You don't? At all? <laughs> For Ravarosh? No, I mean, it's... I thought I was sitting in Ravarosh. Yeah, he's, I know. He's so the music answered in some ways. <laughs> yeah. I just found this channel someone wrote. Okay. I listened to my first Rabbi or Orish question and answer. It was really nice. I was wondering, that's this show, thank uh -huh. God, and we had reposts of previous okay. casts. I was wondering, what if you think you are doing harm to yourself? How does one know if it's a Yetzirah or that's what Hashem's will is? The rabbi said that no one can hurt you if Hashem does not will it. So it doesn't mean if you hurt yourself by whatever means, that is the same. I like very much what Moshe Gersh said. He was the guest that week. Uh -huh. that this guy must have watched the class. Right. It was called it. Uh, it's all the same or something like that. Mm -hmm, yeah. said about first loving yourself. Right. I hate myself. Right. So does that mean I should dub him for me or is selfish and and concentrate on whatever praying I do on others. I guess the answer is both. So they're answering themselves somewhat. Right. Dumb for both. Thank you. I just want to say I did try for a long time to pray for someone else first and my prayers for those two things were not answered. What would the rabbi say to that? So, I have a book here. It says Professor or Doctor and I, I'm hoping that you have the confidence to help us because this week Rev Orish is not here. I mean, it would not be appropriate for me to ever get into the, the realm of spiritual uh, okay. Although in my in my therapeutic uh, work, um, depending on where a person is, I've found that more and more people are utilizing spiritual tools um, to bolster their own. Meaning, in graduate school, um, it's certainly you know G, the G word God is taken out of the therapy. But we're here in Eretz Israel, we're in Yerushalayim, Yerak Kodesh, and people much of where people suffering. Um, can also be attributed to feeling very distant from God, feeling very distant from their higher values and goals. It's, uh, then this person said, you know, about about hating himself. Am I supposed to look there? Yeah, look there. Please. I'm looking right there, so hating Keep yourself. I remember a story from one of our spiritual teachers, one of my mindfulness teachers, Rav Moshe Weinberger Shlita, oh. where he sat with someone, and uh, he sat with Rav Weinberger, and he said, I hate myself, Rebbe. And Rav Weinberger, uncharacteristically, when I was listening to the story, would seem very callous and he said no you don't just just sort of brush it off no no you don't the person said Rebbe you're not hearing me he said I, I hate myself and again Rev Weinberger sort of just sort of brushed it off saying no no you don't and, he's, and he got very emphatic he says Rebbe I, I hate myself and finally Rev Weinberger took him and looked him in the eye and says you can't hate yourself you can't hate yourself because you don't know yourself wow 
And when we start to really tap into essence, when we start to tap, tap into who we really are, which is exactly what this whole idea is. And, and I have a, I have a scammer from Rav Weinberger. And uh, it's, uh, this is the book. It's called Living in the Presence. It's a Jewish mindfulness guide to everyday life. And I'm very proud of it because it's mavusas. It's based on the teachings of our spiritual traditions. There's nothing here, like the Tanya writes in his book, and not to compare this to the Tanya, but he said that he's just a malukat. Obviously, the, the Tanya was benoni. The Tanya was uh, mm. somebody who has a tremendous bamachadish, but but I'm not. I just took our ideas that we've been that we've been focusing on and that we've may have gotten away from. We may have lost the forest uh, from the trees because be'emes, in, in truth, every single thing that we do in our tradition is to connect us, is to be mechubar. To be to live a connected life, to be connected to who we really are, and when we tap into that, who we really are, be'etzem, without all of the the noise, and all of the cognitive distortions, then we can really, really tap in. And one of the, for me, in terms of entering into the world of Breslov, was hearing and seeing the the, the teachings of the tzaddik of Rabbi Nachman, where he. He lived this way, and he also espoused these teachings. If you look in the Kuta Maran, in, in Ayin Reish Bet, he says, Ayom im Today you feel this in my voice. And Rabbi Nachman, I'm paraphrasing here, Rabbi Nachman says that a person needs to be focused on right now in their Gashmias, in their, in their physical world, and Allah has Kama Vakama, how much more so in their spiritual lives. He says, if a person starts to think about all the things they need to do from a spiritual perspective, he says it's a Masaka Ved. He says it's a, it's a heavy burden, and you end up pushing things off. We talk about procrastinating, and it, it all all these spiritual maladies, all these all these psychological maladies, the anxiety and depression, they're all about not being fully present. And so when Rabbi Nachman says, if you just focus on what you're supposed to be doing right now, you're good. And he says, tomorrow, if you're thinking about tomorrow, olam acher legamre. That's what he says. And we believe it. You said, you know, things are flying so fast. <laughs> you know, the time is just flying by. It's already the middle of Sivan. And the truth is, is if we're not able to be fully connected to what's happening right now, we end up just glossing over moments, moments to get to that next point, to get to there, to get to... And once we're finally there, we don't even know how to be there. And that ties into that message from from previous year of being here now. And ena davratala ela bi, you know, so, you know, the bi is the be here now, of being right where you are and believing that that's where you can serve Hashem best. And whatever situation you're in. So this person who you know, is experiencing whatever pain he's experiencing. Rabbi Nachman talks about this as well. Am I talking too much? No, it's no, you let me. You stop me because my wife says, you know. I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> this, uh, this guy's feeling my game. This guy gets yeah. it. But Rabbi yeah. Nachman says that, that everybody experiences sorrow in this world. <laughs> you experience pain. You stub your toe, it's going to hurt. Right? Oh. You, you, you give birth. None of us know about that, but I imagine it hurts, right? <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble right you now. Don't imagine no, it's that, like when but... I have a cold, I imagine that that's yeah. what it's like to have to give birth. But uh, don't say that to anyone. Don't say that to anyone. Is this, no one's listening. You know, they're actually 50,000. They're 50,000 people eventually, on right now. Yeah, they're yeah. 50, eventually, I think. I see the numbers. 50, uh, 45,000. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> we're climbing. So Rabbi Nachman says, Tsar is inevitable. You're going to experience pain. But Yisurin, that's optional. And that's, that's really, you know, from another wisdom tradition is pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. Rabbi Nachman talks about when you don't have Das, you will experience Yisurin. Das is being fully mitchaber to this is what the moment is saying right now. Because Das is a lashon of Chibur. Das is a lesson of connection, right? We see the first time we use the word Das, it's Adam and Chava, Yehda Adam and Chava, he knew his wife, he knew him in, in, in a very, very intimate way, to know, to be fully connected. When we're fully connected to what is, and this is the quote that I sent you, is the only way to be mitchaber to Hashem, the only way to be davuk to Hashem, Ech, Kadosh Baruch Hu, he's mamale kol hamim, misoviv kol hamim, he's bigger, he's bigger than big, right? He's greater than great. So, so how to do you... be connected. How do you connect? Because we believe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is recreating the world at every single moment. Every single moment is another opportunity, in-breath, out-breath, right? By fully connecting to here and now, to this moment, you are being fully Davak Tashem. All those thoughts in your head that are pulling you away, those are the thoughts that we have to contend with. That's where the, the therapeutic ways, that's the Hizbodidus, right? Hizbodidus is just coming to Hashem as you are right now. And, and, and we were talking before the show, we were talking about how people are clamoring for this practice. They just want to deepen their Esbodas practice. They just want to connect more and more. How do we connect with something that's so far away? We have to know it's not far away. Right? It, has, it has to be visceral. It has to be right now. It has to be Hayom in Bekolo So, yeah, did we answer this question? I think we did. Okay. And I think it's something that's 
thank God the person who are asked has a feeling they they know the answer also and correct and that's often really the best answer that just to reveal the through the question the answer to the questioner kind of thing the greatest work yeah. you do therapeutically you know between between a client and and their and their therapist is for you not to tell them what to do meaning we trust that inner wisdom even though sometimes they might be making the uh, a more unskillful decision in what they're doing um, at, at that moment, it's saying, okay, what's the functionality or where, how is, why am I repeating the same mistake over and over again? And there's, there's some wisdom there, but there's a deeper wisdom. And we want to get to that deeper wisdom of, of, you know, learning to really hear that, that voice of what, what's going to make you happy. What's going to make you satisfied. What's really, what's really true. And we, because we're so pulled in so many different directions, right? We're pulled in so many different directions. We finally just pause. Just take it. Rabbi Nachman Kaseder would tell his Talmidim, he'd say, I could tell you what to do right now, but the truth is, you know, in two generations from now, that might not be the best Eitzah. He'd say, I'll tell you right now, Hamtain. Be patient. Sit with it for a little bit before we make any hasty decisions, before we open up our mouths, to just pause and just take that deep breath. I saw the Kedusha Slavi talks about how where a person believing that a Baruch Hu is recreating the world at every minute, so every in-breath, you're alive, and every out-breath, that's it. But then here comes another breath. And so here's another opportunity. Here's another minute. So like, well, I didn't, I didn't do the right thing last night. I didn't even do the right thing last minute. So what's stopping you from doing it right now? Tshuva is by definition the ein va'ata el lashon tshuva. You can only do tshuva in the here and now. Tshuva, oh, it happened. I, I, I spoke lashon hara. What am I supposed to do? Right now, in this moment, what can you do? And we love guilt. We mm-hmm. love to feel guilty. We think Big it's a mis- We think it's Why a mitzvah to feel guilty. Yeah. And 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 one of the most, for me at least, one of the most. Uh, and Rabbi Nachman was a genius of geniuses. Was a genius of geniuses, and and I, I wouldn't even be able to say I. And there's no surface to even scratch. I'm not even. But to, one of the things that 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 I live with from from Rabbeinu. Is his focus on whatever happened, it's over, move on. Not to do it in a in a in a in an insensitive way. One of my teachers also, Rav Avram Svi Kluger, he said this idea: right? Rabbi Nachman says, if you believe you could break it, it's a Yosef Karduner song, so that means it's famous. If if, <laughs> if you if you believe that you That's could break it, you day. could fix it. Now, if I if I took this camera and I, wait, wait, I'm going to ask the audience here, right? If I took this camera and I smashed it, right? Do you believe that I could break it? Yeah, yeah right. Do you believe that I could fix it? No. no! No, I wouldn't know what to do. It's broken. So, and we believe when Rabbi Nachman says something, we agree. We agree with Rabbi Nachman. He doesn't need our askama. If Rabbi Nachman says, "If you break something, you can fix it," it's not talking about a high quality camera. It's talking about your relationship with the Ribono Shalom. The only reason you think that your connection with Hakadosh Baruch Hu is severed is because that voice in your head, which is probably not coming from the healthiest place, is telling you you messed up. We're not talking about Ben Adam Lachaver. We're talking about straight up Ben Adam Lamakum between you and your higher power. And if you believe you could break it, the reason why it's broken is because you believe you broke it. So right now, in this moment, Akol Neshima Neshima Tahalka, on this very breath, you could fix it. And so that's something that I think uh, this generation, myself being the sample size of one, very much needs. And I'm very blessed that people really resonate with this message. You know, and big, big people like Rav Gedalia, Rav Joey Rosenfeld, Rav Judah Michelle Shlita, all these people uh, are very, are very uh, um, encouraging. In that, uh, the best way—not the best way—I mean, for, the, for for this generation right now, to connect to Hashem is to really be able to connect to this moment in whatever way you are, where you are, Basher Husham. And the, 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 the land that you're on is Admas Kodesh. The feet, you know, take off your shoes right now, where you are. What's the holiest moment? What's the holiest place? What's the holiest time? It's all right now. It's all right now. Amazing. Wow, that's really, really appreciated. And we're, we've still got another few more uh, things we're going to go through together with do uh, Dr. Do it. Benji Epstein. But before we do, we're going to get into a song with our Bainani official guest. I'd just like to ask him one or two very quick questions. Sure. Bain and the official, is that like, as our other guest hinted, is that a Chabad kind of focus? or And how did, I know that you've done a song about Uman and you have a Kesha to, to Rabbi Nachman's teachings. How does that link up? And maybe you can put that together with, with a song to, and uh, inspire us. Um, yeah. yeah, so um, Bain and the official is, uh, it's just like the YouTube channel name. But uh, yeah, my, my artist name is Bain and and uh um, <laughs> that's good and uh and that did come from uh from the tanya 
from the inspiration of the of, of the Alter Rebbe of the Baltanya. Amazing. Um, yeah, just uh, also because you know the the Benoni is somebody that's always that's always fighting and never loses. You know, Benoni is a is a is a is a winner. So that and also I just felt like my music and 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 myself. I'm I'm a person that's like Bain a lot of different things, like in the middle of a lot of different things, which I also think. Uh, uh, the name Benoni is Shaykh too, and that's that's leading to your other question about how, like, I, the, the the connection because I'm I'm very um very connected to Chabad and um like I wear I daven Nusachari and I wear Chabad tefillin and and you know the Rebbe or Lubavitch Rebbe is like a father figure to me and um, I'm always kind of dancing and then I mean of course Rebbe Nachman I don't even have words to express really the connection that I have to Rebbe Nachman it's so deep. So I'm always kind of, uh, I'm, I'm dancing between the two worlds. I should have said Irene Mikasher before I started singing. Seriously, that. right? Yeah. We do it? We do it now? It's we never too late. Right now, we, right now. Lead us? I mean, if you can sing it. Irene Mikasher. I don't have a tune for it. Let's try. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll do that one. Are you ever, ever, ever? Irene Mikasher, that's me. appreciate you reaching out and making this happen. Thank you. Well, yeah, I, I'll say uh, one of my unforgettable moments yeah. from uh, from Uman. I can't remember which year it was, but I think it was the first time that I was in the 10 o'clock uh, Shiner tent minion. <laughs> Who hasn't been there? And, oh, sure. uh, and, um, and we sent, and it was like, first time I made it there. And they sing this niggin before. It's one of the niggin they sing before yeah. uh, Kiss the Shofar. Sure. And I just remember like a thousand people singing it, and I was falling. Like half an hour or so. Like half an hour. <laughs> and just feeling so strongly the, 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 the presence of the tzaddik. And it's it's something that. Yeah, that's one indelible. of the high points for sure. It's an indelible uh, connection. So. Want to play that at the end? You can play it. What? Song? You know the song? This one? Who's that one? Oh, this one. Oh, this was the one they were singing. <laughs> oh, that song, yeah, they yeah. sang that. That's true. There's other ones. The fast one as well. Yeah, we could sing that. Sure. Okay. Nation. It's included in the package. Okay, good. So yeah, <laughs> they sort of they went one into the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the flow. So, wow, yeah, that's the first time we've actually had that song sang in the studio. Funny enough, cool, right? yeah, which is surprising considering it's such a foundational song nowadays. Maybe mm-hmm. play play it before every show. Yeah, amazing. You play? I don't play well. We'll have to have you come back with a guitar, <laughs> unless you want to. That was that was good. I, was, I don't think Bain any. I don't know. It might be Tzadik. So, so we're going to get back to the the good doctor here, and uh, a few questions I think are in order. Mm. 
one funny enough we're all in a similar same age bracket which means we're at that stage i don't know they call it midlife i hope not i hope it's actually less than midlife you know <laughs> meaning we've got another 20 years till the midlife it's 120 but um at that time where life is very busy and we have children thank god and we're living in the holiest place in the world and we a lot to be thankful for all our blessings it also comes together with a lot of struggle and responsibility and pressures to grow and i think that's something that many people who will be listening can relate to either wherever they are in the world but especially if they've been in israel and they've seen the intensity people have it in business in the world people have it in all kinds of things nowadays and um, politics and emotional well-being how would you help us through the tools and how would you even ask because people all the time ask us mindfulness is bodedness is bonus they they ask on those points so my question is how do these tools help us if you can give some clarity what what your understanding of mindfulness is in terms of you know you put it as part of the book i mean i have to read the book more but just as the title how does it help us come to a good place you mentioned somewhat before but maybe a bit more deeper explanation well, we know there's the therapeutic benefit you have to eat you have to sleep you have to do some exercise what about being present and the effects of not being present are more are more subtle meaning if you don't take the time to do these these practices these self-care practices so it's not going to come up right away it's not going to come up that day it's not going to come up that night but months and months and years of just chasing and running and moving right one of the my teachers says you know we we've lost the ability to be human beings but we become human doings and we end up getting so focused on some sort of secondary reinforcement some secondary benefit versus what's really true what really matters to me and i think we all know that when we take the time and sort of allow you know our deeper ritsonos to come out our deeper what what do you, if we spent a minute two minutes a day saying what do i really want and whatever comes up see it notice it let it go and then come up ask yourself again what do i really want and it's it's often not going to be to be famous youtubers it might be <laughs> but it's 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 sorry but <laughs> Shout out. Shout out. Oh, God. Shout, shout out, out to, to the, the audience. The audience. <laughs> shout out to the youth. The youth. The youth. I think the youth. That is the number one, by the way, the request. The, you know, when you ask, you know, what do you want to grow up? You know, what do you want to be when you grow you up? You can get a degree yeah. now. You can get a degree in social media. Social you can get a degree media. in becoming YouTube. an influencer. Mm -hmm. And the irony is, is, is what's a real influence? An influencer is a tzaddik. A tzaddik is an influencer. Mashpia. The mashpia. And again, we there's something beautiful about being a mashpia. And, and but how, how are we really mashpia on the people in our own lives? In our for ourselves, for ourselves, and we were just talking about celebrities who who are so run down and so mm. pulled in so many different directions. And I think we've been exposed to tzaddik emes. Yeah, there's a lot of Torah out there. There's a lot of there's a lot of mochin out there. There's a lot of chokma. But if you don't have this, if you're not able to be mitchaber this to this, and then you sit in the presence of a tzaddik, and 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 Ravaro should be well. It, 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 what's it like to be sitting with him? Is there anything else happening in the world? No, he's totally present. He's totally present. That's he's, the the Shada Shava I've seen by all Sadiqim. Shada Shava. And the Amah Kulam Sadiqim. That's yeah. what we aspire towards. To be common fully denominator. To the common the common denominator in our own lives, with with our spouses, with our friends, with our children, with our higher power, to be fully present in that Shmona Esrei. To be full, even if that Shmon Esri is is with a stuffed nose and with a with a you know lack of caffeine. I didn't notice that. You didn't know. notice. Right? So you said it. It's 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 uh, yeah. that's why there's no mochin in Baruch Hashem. So we yeah. just we're just fl flowing here. Why, the chef why, is do, just why do you think people are afraid of the present moment? Oh, people, you tell me. This is therapy stuff. I, we don't answer questions directly. We'll throw it back. You tell me. You ask the question, and then uh, people are afraid. People can't sit with their thoughts because the truth is, your thoughts are not always your friend. There's a very very chush of a yeah. Jew who didn't always practice Judaism, but uh, well, he, he definitely came back a little bit at the end, and he said, you are not who you think you are. We believe our thoughts. We believe very strongly. And the Sforno says in the Eva Asis, when a person was punished with the, the sin of the, of the, of the Etadat Tovera, Etadat Tovera, you're already went good, bad, good, bad, I don't know, don't know, right? As opposed to Etzachayim, which is really being fully, fully integrated. And so when you get starting into that thought process, and you start having negative thoughts about yourself. Who does that? 
why would you think negatively about yourself? And as a good therapist, and if you're looking for a therapist, do not go to a euthymic presence, uh, uh, excuse me, a euthymic uh, therapist who's like, yeah, everything is awesome. It's like, no, your, your therapist should understand the shtickle, uh, shtickle of, the, of, the, of that marash chara because we've tasted it. Pain, and yeah. you know it's no it's it's a real thing but that doesn't mean that that's where you're going to be stuck the pain is real the pain is real the pain is real and being being part of this world is that this there's this is a world of that needs to be rectified and we see that through the difficult we only go through our difficulties but again recognizing that we could sit with our thoughts it, and to be able to go into his bodhidus and be able to just just lay it out there and just lay it out there and say this is and if we believe and we do that the Rabona Shalom is all knowing and, and, and he knows what's up. So who are we hiding from? And we often very much have a hard time just, so we, we, we get into this culture of doing where we feel, okay, if I keep doing, 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 and it's, and it's almost like an act of violence towards ourselves where we can't just be. Shabbos is a reminder, hey, just be here now. Amazing. Just be here now. Just tap into it. Like, oh, I don't feel ready. It's like your feelings of not being ready doesn't change the fact that this is happening right now. And if you could get over that, if you could get through that and say, be mitchaber to what's really happening right now. I remember right before Lach Bomer, I was doing one of these things. I was sitting at the table and I was like rubbing my forehead. I'm like, <laughs> like, 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 like really like, Ugh. and my wife's like, are you okay? And I was like, ah, Lach Bomer. And she looked at me and she goes, dim your note. Your fantasies. Like you think that you stressing out about it is going to make you connect more? Be open. It's happening. We believe. We believe. We believe in the Kedusha of Tzaddikim. We believe in the in the Torah is coming straight. This is this is real. This is happening. Well, I don't feel it. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, to quote another Jewish commentator, facts don't care about your feelings. This is happening. This is happening right now. Can we be mitchaber to what it is right now without telling ourselves it's supposed to look like something different? Because we tell ourselves it's supposed to look like something different. Who says that? Who told you that? It's supposed to be all smooth. It's supposed to be all gewaldikite. It's supposed to be all great. Look at the lives of tzaddikim. Look at how. Look at the difficulties that went through. I remember my kid just asked me. Reb Shimon was in a cave for twelve years. Just pause. Twelve years. Wow. I mean, we've we're all been in caves our, in our lives, but for twelve years. So we see that there's a lot of suffering in the world. But how do we talk to ourselves? There has to be that the way we pay attention, paying attention, and then how we pay attention with Yira, seeing clearly, seeing really clearly, and then that Ava piece, that compassion piece, which we're sorely missing. You know, you hear people saying over and over again, I don't like myself, I don't like myself, I don't like myself. What about yourself do you not like? And there's clearly that barrier, that that, that Anochi that's Omeid Benu Vencha, we just got the Torah. We just got the Torah, and we have to believe that the only way that we can get the Torah is by connecting to the now. Amazing. I want to thank again, both our guests, we're going to hopefully do one or two more songs. But before we do, we're just going to give a little shout out and thank again, Dr. Be uh, ben what a thank you so much. Thank you so much. To get into these concepts and to fill the light of Ravorish. Ravorish, we don't have him in the studio in person, but thank God we have s around 68 or so classes you can go back. That's why I'm constantly reposting them. So you should go over and spend time with those classes, hear the rough, speak about these concepts in real time. And as but Benjamin Epstein so rightly said, I just want to make sure I get it right each time. Just Benji. Different aspects of your name, Vuch Hashem. Benjamin. So we have the Benjamin. opportunity, Vuch Hashem, to connect into the light of Rav Oresh, who is so present and has that joy and that simcha. We just had a Min Chamarev here the other day. I actually put it up as a TikTok video because I was, whatever, he, he turned to me and he said, Eli, smile. Like, yeah, Eli Amatok. We shouldn't leave out the sweet part. He said, sweet Ellie, smile. And it just that moment of connection that I got and you get on these videos when you watch the re previous ones, and please go, we'll get again in the future, that that moment of a connection with a sadik, it does something to the nefesh, to the soul. But what is and that? I mean, that's what, that's what I'm saying. It's, not, it's, it's, not, it's such an, a an ineffable quality. Yeah. You can't really describe yeah. it. It's like they're looking at your soul. And I, I, I thank God being by many sadikim over the years and you shall I am. It's one of the blessings of living here. You know, it's whenever, even when we think, you know, maybe there's more success out somewhere else or this and that. I always remind myself, think about the amount of holy people still alive, thank God, and yeah. maybe the new generation also. In New Shalim, you can just go around the corner and have a sadic look at your face and experience that presence, that moment of connection. You know, I remember the Amshan of it. I mean, it was just <laughs> overwhelming when he says something to you, the amount of presence there or the Tonda Rebbe, my Rebbe, or, you know, uh, other Rebbe's, other Siddiquim or Rabbonim, 
uh, Rav Samet as a Rav or Sameach, even the Kirav Rabbonim, the, the, thank God, the ones who have really worked on themselves, have got to a level of presence, and you see that they're able to give over joy of life, and it's amazing. So remember, the books are available on our sites. The Wonders of Gratitude, we're going to be giving 10 copies to our guests, hopefully, and to both guests, we'll be giving them Svarim and booklets, loving every, I like to say every person, I think there's a new edition, with great devotion, it says here specifically every Jew, but we like to be inclusive here, because all of humanity needs the love nowadays, Amen. and that's the, uh, the focus we have in these classes, it's a unity focus, united soul focus, and want to thank again our host, Ravarish, and all the Rabbonim who make this place happen, all the team, it's very important, and we're going to go into another song, so we can get some energy to round off the class before uh, Mr. Epstein or Dr. Epstein speaks again, and we'll go into a song so we can have energy, the right kind of energy, the right way of moving forward. Let's go. All right. This is the last. Okay, this is my last song. No, you got two. Two more? Yeah. Okay. Well, this this encore, is, encore. This is a song you can choose, and then we're gonna end off the cast. Maybe the, With uh, the Uman song. Yeah. So the Uman song will be last. That's it. You got it. You got the flow. So this song is called Deep Roots, and uh, it's a song about making Aliyah. There it is. So, uh, and a little bit of the uh, oh, that's the Kavanas, big tikkun big, big for the Chet Amaragim. Yeah, Pasha Slach Lecha. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Never going back, cause you know it's not equal Here I take a stand, I'm standing with my people Feel it deep inside, connection to what's real Hear it in the name, Israel And although I am committed, I admit I lose my zeal Thinking about that past life and the fast meal Crack of the whip, oh how my mind reels What a bad trip, I was ready to kneel Now I'm walking further and further along the path of my father Screaming murder and murder, you enemies don't even bother We wandered, but never forgot, hoped and prayed to return to the spot All the way back, you know that we fought divine, inspired never to stop We got deep roots, I can feel it in my bones I can feel it in my bones Living in the white and blue, the only land we call home We got deep roots, yeah we gotta stay strong Pray we gonna stay strong Haters wanna die, but they could just move along Just move along Hey, whoa, just move along Hey, mm. Home is where it's at, I'm raising up my children My grandfather says do it for the six million They wanted to destroy, send us to oblivion Now we're planning for us Prophecy fulfillment, I'm blessing all the soldiers watching over when we're sleeping Walking among these heroes, I'm a humble civilian We wanna build it up, his holy dominion Do it in the honor of martyrs, we make him living Flying up to pull it down, I wanna scream it all around Redemption coming can be found, but only when I look inside Coming from far away, I wanna integrate when it gets loud I try to appreciate all of the beauty and people in real estate No matter what you've been hearing to say We got deep roots, I can feel it in my bones my bones living in the white and blue the only land we call home we got deep roots yeah we gotta stay strong pray we gonna stay strong haters wanna die but they could just move along just move along Unite, we all need each other to fight We all living under his sights We all want to see the end of the night A mighty nation renewed Who made the desert bloom Who fought seven enemy armies While the world left us the doomed Haters want to doubt But it's just fake news You don't need to be a detective To see evidence of the truth Moving slowly But you better bet it's looming Try to stop it But they're losing Now we're choosing love And the way we build these ruins We got deep roots I can feel it in my bones I can feel it in my bones Living in the white and blue, the only land we call home We got deep roots, yeah we gotta stay strong Pray we gotta stay strong Haters wanna die, but they could just move along Just move along, whoa, yeah We got deep roots, whoa, yeah
Amazing, amazing, amazing. The roar amazing. of the crowd. Woo! <laughs> yeah! 50,000 people. Yeah, 50,000. No cheering 50, online. 20 million Yehudim. Let's make it happen. So we're going to now round off the class with some closing words from our special guest. Don't forget, check out the Living in the Presence book. This is the one to go check it out on Amazon and all the normal locations that people get books these days. Really worth reading. I'm going to have a read of it as soon as possible. It's a nice Askama from a Weinberger, by the way. Oh, Moshe Weinberger gave Askama one of our guests in a previous class. And we hope, please God, to go ahead with such special guests in the, in the coming weeks. We're going to be having Rudy Rochman in the house, hopefully <laughs> a week from now. First time we're hosting him as well in our studio. And he's someone who is a very established, um, how would you say? Advocate. Advocate. Very good. That's a good way of appreciate that word, advocate, and also another word where someone's very dynamic and impacting. What's there's a word for it? I just went out of my head. I don't know. You also, also he's, you could call him an influencer, I guess. Influencer, definitely, definitely an influencer. An influencer. Powerhouse. Powerhouse. <laughs> okay, the word I had in mind, but you actually got better words. So that's that's why we've got such good guests this week. They really filled in without Rebel God here. Rav Dino God will be back. Baruch Hashem, and we're always praying for Shalom Ben Yemna join us in the studio but the most important thing is our guest is going to teach us as we end off the class is living now we're here this is the way Hashem wanted it us three fine gentlemen together in the holy land in Yishalayim let's tune in to what Hashem's giving us as a as a closing message thank you uh, just I want to express my gratitude the wonders of gratitude you know, gratitude is is when you oh are really fully present with what's happening right now till you got to here right now every single moment that got you to where you are and you say ah todaraba so thank you to, to the beautiful beautiful music of benoni i'm just introduced to it and i'm excited to check it out and through goldsmith really just an unbelievable unbelievable job of 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 curating all this talent and the and the and the speakers and the music and all all the shame shemaim all to bring quote shemaim into the world through and just this we just read in this week's parsha this past week's parsha Vayas Kain Aharon. Vayas Kain Aharon. That that Aaron did as he was commanded, which on the surface level isn't such a big deal, right? If God tells you to do something, it makes it makes sense to do it. But Vayas Kain Aharon is Rashi explains the Hagid Shvachol Shel Aaron Shel Oshina that he didn't he didn't change. Whatever whatever the situation called for himself, he brought his full presence to, and he and he brought every single ounce and fiber of his being with an attitude of Cain. Yes. He was saying yes to everything because if this is the way it's happening, then this is the way it's supposed to be. And obviously there are going to be situations where you're going to have to change them, but before you change them, you're going to have to fully acknowledge them and say, okay, right now it's like this. Bayas Cain Aaron. So blessing myself and blessing everyone here in the studio to be able to say fully with our full hearts and minds and souls connected with the presence of Tzadikim, to say Cain, 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 Bayas Cain Aaron to every single part of our, the things that are a little bit more unskillful, the things that are we're prouder of, and then ultimately to to spread that light out into the world and to continue to, like you said, to, to tap into our deep, deep roots um, and to hopefully get closer to who we really are spreading the love to the to the fellow Yidin and also to the whole world really from a small, small, beautiful studio in Yerushalayim and broadcasting to, to hundreds of thousands of people so thank you Amen. so much Amen. thank you so, so much what is chus? Amen and that's one of the things we ask you actively that's the word I was looking for activist activist we have to be proactive and get the message out there it's up to you to spread the, the teachings of Rav Shalom Moresh. Yes. He wants that more than anything. He'd be doing it himself if he could. So we have to do that shlichut, shlach lecha, do our shlichus, mm. our shlichut, and be those messengers of Hashem, truly. And we thank our messenger of mindfulness and living in the present like and healthy well-being. And please check him out. Uh, uh, what's the most placed, Benjamin Epstein? Uh, uh, I, I'm working on a website, drbenji.com. Drbenji.com. It's a working, it's a working process. So you have a location and check out Ben and the official. He's going to finish off our class of a labor de song from Uman. And by the way, the Orish family made it to Uman, not Rav Orish, but the the Rabbani and one or two others are in Uman was? currently as we're speaking. Oh, wow. And I got a picture from them, Motsi Shabbat. So they're by the Sion of Rabbi Nachman this weekend. So they're praying for us, and that gives us hope that we'll be able to make it back to Uman. And over here is a wonderful uh, 
Haskama on the book, Living in the Presence is a work of art that could have only been written by someone who's truly living in the present. My dear friend, Dr. Benji, has his finger on the pulse of turbulent generation, one that is seeking more than ever practical path of mindfulness and a Muna to live by this is a treasure. Well, wow, beautiful words from Rav Moshe Weinberger, Shlita, and I know being in Uman, if we can make it there, if we're yeah. not, we're where we're meant to be, but if we can make it there, it's a place of presence as well, whoever's Amen. experienced it, and that's why we're going to end off with a song from Uman. So let's do it. Great. But thank any, you for having away. Can I just do one? Yeah, I'll just also say thank you to Ravelli for having, Pleasure. For having me and you thanks reached out. My, thanks, thanks to, to the crew, wife and kids. For thanks to my bodyguards yeah. for uh, joining yeah. me today. Squad. <laughs> and um, keep yeah, shining, I think, guys. I think you know men, you mentioned before, like Chabad and Breslev, and one of the two things that one of one of the main things that the two movements have in common is this idea of hafatza, of you can only fix yourself by worrying about somebody else, by 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 spreading truth, by spreading avas Yisrael, by doing acts of goodness and kindness, by spreading the teachings of Hasidus. And that's something that's something that I'm, I, I always want to do. So thank you for inviting me here to help me share what I have to share. To Excuse, you to reached the, out and everyone can reach out. Of of you guys, musicians, fellow musicians of Bainani and other people, you have friends. We'd love to have Judah Michelle. We've, we've had him. Rabbi of the world. We've had a Judah Michelle on this piece of paper he's for the about, a, about a year. And he's still not made it he's, here. He's so if busy, you have any a, influence on him, I could try. make it happen. Okay, let's go. Judah Michelle, if you're listening to this. Yeah. <laughs> we love you. We love you. <laughs> Hope to see you soon. All right. So this is a song that uh, I wrote um, about uh, my uh, experience of uh, my, my enthusiasm for going to Uman. It's called Get Yourself. And I, and I actually have a bit of an edited version from the original just for this broadcast. So Wow. Exclusive. Get yourself on a plane Knowing that you'll never be the same and rush to China in Ukraine in the end It's been a long year but I can see the light from all the stress built up like a stalactite I tend to hold tight when I should let go Light leaves at midnight, lands at a quarter to four I'm in an old world, I turn a new page Picked up on my side curls to get my head straight But I can't do it alone, I'm made for give and take That's why when L will come around you're always gonna hear me say Get yourself on a plane Uplifted. Good to see you by Rabbeinu feeling so gifted Yeah, we went the distance, battled our resistance Give a proof to say the Tikkun spiritual fix it And we know he listens when we bear our soul Gonna turn you on to this, it's obviously dope Less about flying out and shining light below Bakiberatso, Bakibishov And before you go, linger by the Tzion Feeling so at peace cause we got big shoulders to lean on Pull me out of darkness, make me a believer Tzadik is so alarm, you can't go wrong let me hear ya Oh, get yourself on a plane Send off with Archimim. Okay. Go. 
Good energy.